journey through Earth's mass extinctions, a deep dive. Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into one of the most dramatic stories of our planet, mass extinctions. These are events where a huge percentage of life on Earth suddenly disappears, altering the course of evolution forever. There have been five major mass extinctions in Earth's history, each leaving a mark on the planet and paving the way for new forms of life. Let's explore these incredible turning points in Earth's history. Around 443 million years ago. Picture a world vastly different from our own. The continents are clustered together and life flourishes in the vast, shallow seas. This was the Ordovician period, a time of incredible biodiversity. The oceans teemed with trilobites, ancient arthropods that scuttled across the seabed, alongside brachiopods, creatures resembling clams, and an abundance of corals. These creatures built reefs that stretched for miles, creating vibrant underwater ecosystems. But this thriving world was about to face its first major crisis. The Earth entered a period of dramatic climate change. Temperatures plummeted and vast ice sheets spread across the planet, locking away water and causing sea levels to drop drastically. This had a devastating effect on the shallow marine ecosystems where most life existed. Imagine the once teeming coral reefs now exposed to the harsh elements, their inhabitants struggling to survive. As the ice sheets melted, they released massive amounts of freshwater into the oceans. This influx disrupted the delicate chemical balance of the seawater, causing oxygen levels to plummet. This created what's known as an anoxic event, essentially suffocating many marine organisms. By the time the Ordovician Silurian extinction event ran its course, an estimated 85% of marine species had vanished. The trilobites, once kings of the Ordovician seas, were decimated. Some species, through sheer luck or remarkable adaptability, managed to weather the storm. The Silurian period, which followed, saw the rise of new forms of life, including fish with jaws and the first true plants colonizing the land. We now journey forward in time to around 375 million years ago. Life has recovered from the Ordovician Silurian extinction and is flourishing once more. The Devonian period is often called the age of fishes for a good reason. The oceans teem with a dazzling array of fish, including the first fish with jaws, powerful predators that would shape the future of marine life. On land, a profound transformation is also underway. Plants, which had begun colonizing the continents in the Silurian, are now diversifying and spreading. Forests of giant ferns and club mosses cover the land, creating the first true ecosystems outside of the oceans. The air is thick with the hum of insects, the first animals to take to the skies. Unlike the sudden cataclysm of the Ordovician Silurian extinction, the late Devonian extinction unfolds gradually over millions of years like a slow burning crisis. One contributing factor was likely a series of global cooling events. Adding to the environmental stress was widespread volcanic activity. Massive eruptions spewed ash and gases into the atmosphere, potentially altering the climate and disrupting ocean chemistry. The oceans, once teeming with life, began to experience a decline in oxygen levels, creating dead zones where few creatures could survive. Estimates suggest that around 75% of species disappeared during this time. Many groups of marine organisms, including some fish groups, corals and brachiopods, suffered heavy losses. The ancestors of amphibians, creatures that could live both on land and in water, began to emerge, ready to exploit the new opportunities presented by the changing world. The late Devonian extinction, while devastating, paved the way for new evolutionary trajectories. The Permian-Triassic Extinction, the Great Dying We now arrive at a pivotal moment in Earth's history, a time of unimaginable upheaval. It's around 252 million years ago, and the planet is about to experience the most catastrophic extinction event ever recorded. This is the Permian-Triassic extinction, also known as the Great Dying. 
Imagine a world vastly different from our own, where the supercontinent Pangaea sprawls across the globe, surrounded by a single, vast ocean. Life is flourishing, both on land and in the sea. Coral reefs teem with a diversity of life, and strange reptilian creatures roam the land. In what is now Siberia, massive volcanic eruptions begin, unleashing a torrent of molten rock and toxic gases. These eruptions are not isolated events. They continue for hundreds of thousands of years, spewing forth a deadly cocktail of greenhouse gases, including carbon dioxide and methane. Temperatures soar as greenhouse gases trap heat in the atmosphere, leading to a runaway greenhouse effect. The oceans, absorbing vast amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, become increasingly acidic. This acidification has a devastating effect on marine life, particularly creatures with shells and skeletons made of calcium carbonate, which literally dissolve in the increasingly acidic waters. The Permian-Triassic extinction is a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of Earth systems and the devastating consequences when these systems are thrown out of balance. Life on Earth was pushed to the very brink, with an estimated 96% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial species vanishing. The Great Dying was a profound reset button for life on Earth. The Triassic-Jurassic Extinction Dawn of the Dinosaurs Our journey through Earth's history now takes us to the Triassic period, roughly 201 million years ago. Life has begun to recover from the devastation of the Permian-Triassic extinction and the planet is once again teeming with a diversity of species. The Triassic period is a time of evolutionary experimentation. On land, the ancestors of dinosaurs are beginning to diversify, sharing the landscape with a variety of other reptiles, including the formidable phytosaurs, crocodile-like predators that rule the rivers and lakes. In the oceans, new forms of marine reptiles, such as ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs, are evolving, taking to the seas with remarkable adaptations for aquatic life. The supercontinent Pangaea is beginning to break apart, with massive tectonic plates shifting and colliding. This geological upheaval triggers a series of massive volcanic eruptions, releasing vast quantities of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. These eruptions have a profound impact on the global climate. Temperatures rise rapidly, leading to a period of intense global warming. The oceans, once again absorbing excess carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, become increasingly acidic, threatening marine life. The Triassic-Jurassic extinction marked the end of many reptilian groups, including the phytosaurs, clearing the way for the dinosaurs to take center stage. The dinosaurs, with their unique adaptations and resilience, were able to weather the environmental changes of the Triassic-Jurassic extinction. With their competitors out of the picture, they were poised to inherit the Earth, evolving into the awe-inspiring creatures that would dominate the planet for the next 135 million years. The Cretaceous-Paleogene Extinction Our final destination on this journey through Earth's mass extinctions brings us to the Cretaceous-Paleogene Extinction event, approximately 66 million years ago. This event marked the end of the reign of the dinosaurs. An immense asteroid, about six miles wide, was on a collision course with Earth. The impact was catastrophic. It slammed into the shallow waters off the coast of what is now Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. The impact triggered a chain reaction of cataclysmic events. The Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction marked the end of an era. The dinosaurs were gone. But from the ashes, new life arose. Each of these extinctions reshaped life on Earth, showing us how fragile yet resilient life can be. They remind us of the interconnectedness of ecosystems and how external forces like climate change or cosmic impacts can alter the course of evolution. The story of these extinctions is a story of loss, but also a story of resilience, of life's remarkable ability to adapt and diversify even in the face of unimaginable challenges. Today, many scientists warn that we're in the midst of a sixth mass extinction, driven by human activities like habitat destruction, pollution and climate change. 
By understanding the past, we can better appreciate the importance of preserving the biodiversity we have now. The choices we make today will determine the fate of countless species and the future of life on our planet. It is our responsibility to learn from the past and to act as stewards of our planet, ensuring that life continues to thrive for generations to come. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Earth's history. Let's take these lessons to heart as we shape the future of our planet.